points going in and out of the arena. And so we have more free kills to do. Also, I am too concerned about all of those ballista, so I decide you've contributed enough for now. Go home and chill. Because Ozzel's defense is kind of suspect. But we just press on in with the rest of the people here. Killing and wounding and killing. And making forward progress. Now I plant Sigurd to the west here so that Bayou is just in range of his authority. Swoop in for yet another kill. I mean, things are working out splendidly. I'm, I'm managing to feed all kinds of experience to these units who usually don't get it. I was feeling pretty proud of myself. conversation here, but at this point it's just, there's no combat going on, and it's hard to narrate, you know, I'm trying to position somebody so that they'll be able to be rescued, because it should be rather obvious what's going on at this point. Nahoran actually has been getting off a surprising amount of Luna activations. Which is pretty good, I mean, it's not like he doesn't need the experience. And it helps, uh, helps with making forward progress. Okay, so the reason I, I checked um, Eflin's inventory there is because I, I got somewhat frightened on the previous phase. I either didn't see or it wasn't there the ability to return with the return ring. And I'm like, wait, did I accidentally sell that by mistake? Uh, so I had a fit of nervous paranoia and I had to check. But no, the return ring was still there, so I must have just been tricked by the eyes. So we send Finn in for some more amazing chip with the Hero Lance. He does get doubled though, and that puts him dangerously low, so I send him back to the west. I can't even chance Bayo's life with some Ballista, so he is the next warp candidate here. It won't happen immediately, but soon enough. Now the Armor Knights are proving resilient as always, and Sigurd cannot bust through. But this is a good thing, because as I mentioned before, the boss has a sleep staff. So you can't get closer than where I'm lining up my men right now. Not without being risked at, well, being risked, I mean, being completely put out of commission. In this game, the safe staves are either all or nothing. If you have enough magic defense to avoid it, you can avoid it. Otherwise, you get hit. Mm. 
And so, I have Sylvia move for full movement north, so that she'll actually be able to dance F1 next turn, so F1 will get two returns in. Which is more useful than one return. Now, I just sent Ozzel out there so that he can get healed. Less expensive than healing on his own in the castle. Also, more experience for Idine. And Idine wants to be out of the castle anyway, so she can spend some more quality time with Mitter. Now, Holland gets quite a few dodges here. And I credit that to high speed and authority stars. At this point, I realize that he can't actually take too many more of those ballista hits. The entire middle section has been taken care of here. Noish gets a beautiful critical off there, which was clutch. And now I need to bust through that so that I can get Deirdre close enough to pull off the silent staff. Bust through accomplished. Also, because I was amused by the fact of sending an armor knight to take out a mage, I, I had to do it. I mean, Arden's in no fear of death from the ballista. Are you kidding me? Um, the two who were, I send safely out of range. Deirdre's actually in position to take the kill next turn so that she can pick up his sleep staff. Now I'll leave Sigurd there so that, you know, he provides some dodging authority. Because depending on the order of which ballistas hit, it will either put Deirdre at 1 HP and awesome prayer mode, or it will put her at dead. And dead is unacceptable. Uh, Alright, so Alec takes a quick dip in the arena. I don't remember why. Oh yeah, because he gains strength and defense here. So we send Levin over here, he's safely out of Fury's range, but the rest of her knights will go take a jab at him. That's actually slightly dangerous, but he doesn't have a bad shot of living through it. So those two basically were just there for the boss chip XP. And Deirdre gets the kill. So we sent Sylvia home, and then we sent Ethel home. And then I 
make good use of the fact that dancing in the castle heals or refreshes everybody. I go ahead get Ethelin promoted. Female paladins have great promotion gains, and now she's truly a force to be reckoned with. I'm gonna get in some more staff XP here. This also helps make sure that everybody is out of the way and that none of the f none of the enemy Pegasus Knights try to come and molest Idine. And the Chessus is ready for her next bout in the arena. since the previous scenes. Not terrible, but could definitely have gone faster. And then we have Ozzel take. He gets a nice string of back and forth dodges here. It's like watching a cripple fight. Before he finally gets the victory over Chekhov. Let me get some more kills here. 